in this video we'll in this video we'll be looking into the variants of syntax tree so in this we'll particularly deal with the three address code so in three address code there is at most one operator on right hand side on the right side of our instruction that is no built up arithmetic expressions are allowed in this so on right hand side there has to be only one uh, operator so that's when uh, that particular that particular instruction would be valid as three address instruction so if you look at this example x is x plus y star z so you can split this example as t1 is equal to y star z and and then you can take one more variable t2 is equal to x plus t1 value so three address code is the intermediate code used for optimizing the compilers okay so if we look at this example this is the dag given so from the dag we need to write the three address code so firstly we have we need to always start from the bottom so we have b minus c here from the leaf notes so we have b minus c here so t1 can be taken as b minus c so this particular value is stored in t1 next i have t2 is equal to t1 star d t2 is equal to t1 star d this part so t1 star d i'll get t2 so this entire thing is t2 now next coming to t3 i have a plus t1 t3 is a plus t1 so i'll get t3 here and then i have t4 which is equal to t3 plus t2 so that's how uh, a three address code a three address instruction would be uh, defined for the given dag so the three address instruction could be of many forms so it's usually it is of this form that is y y is an uh, variable operation here you need to specify the operation like minus and then z another variable so here operation is binary arithmetic logical operation and it could be of the form x is equal to operation y where operation is the unary operation if i have x is equal to minus 5 so here minus is the uh, unary operation right it could be log logical negation or the shift operation if i have x is equal to y that refers that the values are values are being copied so that's the copy instruction if i have x is equal to y uh, in the brackets if i have, if i write i so this i refers to the index so index in the array so here it is the indexed assignment if i have x is equal to and percent y and x is equal to star y so this represents the pointer assignment so i also have uh, like the forms of unconditional jump so go to the direct l you you need jump to the l part or i have the unconditional jump that is if x go to l if false x go to l or the procedure calls where we call a procedure p with n parameters and returning y now we'll look into the data structure for three address instructions so the three address instruction can be implemented as objects or records with fields for operator and operands so these representations are quadruple triple and indirect triple so firstly we'll look into the quadruple so here uh, by the definition we, by the name we can understand that there are four fields in this so the first one is operator followed by argument one argument two and the result is also stored here so let's consider this particular expression given a is equal to b star minus c plus b star minus c so if i write three address code for this firstly i'll take if i write the three address code firstly i'll take t1 is equal to minus c this particular part would be stored in t1 then my next step would be t2 is equal to b star minus c t2 this is also t2 this is also t2 so t3 again minus c and t4 is b star t3 yes this was t3 and this entire thing is t4 here next i have t5 so i need to add t2 and t4 i have done that next i have a a is equal to this entire thing this entire thing was stored in t5 so i'll equate it to t5 a is equal to t5 so this was the three address code for the given expression now i'll write um, i'll depict in quadruples form so i have operand operators here argument 1 argument 2 and result here so firstly i have t1 that is equal to minus c so the operator here is minus and the first argument is c and the result is being stored in t1 so result in result i'll write t1 here so in order to access this particular t1 is equal to minus c in further operations 
I need to use its index number. So the index number here is zero. So I'm done with the first instruction. Second, if I look at this, T2 is equal to B star T1. So star is the operator. B is on the first argument. T2, T1 is the second argument. And then the result is stored in T2. So I'm done with this. So for T2, the index value is zero. Next I have T3 is equal to minus C. So operator is minus argument. Only one argument is there. That is C and result is stored in T3. Now we are done with this. Then we have T4 is equal to B star T3. B star T3 and result is stored in T4. Next I have T5 is equal to T2 plus T4. So uh, I'll add T2, T4 and it will be stored in T5. So in, in quadruple, you need not access the index. You can directly write the values, directly write the result here. So I have added T2 and T4 and it is stored in T5. Next A is equal to T5. Operator is equal to argument is T5. It is stored in A. So this was the quadruple form. Now if we look at the now if we look at the triples, so triples has three fields. One is operator, and the one is the other one is argument one, and the other one is argument two. So using triples, we refer to the result of an operation X, operation Y by its position rather than its explicit temporary name here we use the explicit temporary name that was t1 t2 t3 t4 but here we would make use of the positions that is the index values so for the same three address code if i write here t1 is equal to minus c so here i don't have result column right so i did not write t1 so minus c minus c i have written and then i have b star t1 b star t1 for the t1 the index value is zero here so i'll write zero now minus c so minus c I'm done with the second and uh, third in uh, this part. Next I have B star T3. B star in T3 the index value is 2. So I'll write 2 here. Next I have T5 is equal to T2 plus T4. For T5, for T5 the index value was 1. And for T4 the index value was 3. So I can add operation is plus here. For T2 I'll write 1. And for T4, I'll write 3. Similarly, for A is equal to T5, operator, operation is 5 here. And argument 1 is A, which would be equated to the second argument here is 4. All the values on the right hand side would be stored to the, all the values on the right hand side would be stored to the left hand side. So 4, 4 comprises of, or that is T2 plus T4, the T5 value is stored in 4 index. So this was about triples. Now we'll look into the indirect triple. So in addition of in addition to triples, we make use of list of pointers here to the triples. So consider the same expression. A is equal to B star minus C plus B star minus C. So I'll I'll obtain the three address code for this. So this three address code, uh, I'll make use of the index table here. So which comprises of the instructions. So the first instruction would be allotted. Uh, uh, these are the index value. These are the memory values here. We make use of a pointer from this pointer. We will be referring to the values here. So minus C. Yes, B star T1, B star and T1 value is zero. Yeah, we'll, for in order to access this value, we'll make use of this pointer table. Okay. So this is similar to the previous or uh, uh, triple how we have allotted the values, how we have filled the table. So the benefit of quadruples over triples can be seen in optimizing compiler where instructions are often moved around. So with quadruples, if we move an instruction that computes a temporary T, then the instruction that uses T requires no change. So you can change the value of uh, T1, T2, T3 without uh, without affecting the further uh, temporary values but then in case of triples if you change the value of if you uh, operation is referred by its position so moving an instruction may require changing all references to that result so if you change one value if you change the location or the position of one instruction then it affects the result overall result so coming to indirect triples it is it has an easier rearrangement compared to quadruples and triples and it takes less time and space complexity so compared to these uh, compared comparing all three indirect triples are 
uh, preferred or because they have less time and space complexity so i hope you have understood uh, the three address code topic if you have any doubts do let me know in the comments and subscribe to my channel thank you